Unbelievable. Hmm. Nigerians. Crime. British lawyer escape assassination for exposing secret trial, execution of six Igbo soldiers. You know, some time ago, we reported to you that a day before Barati left office, he gave an order for six British um, Igbo soldiers to be killed. What happened was they said initially that some... Um, some uh, what's it called some ammunitions were missing and because the very people that were suspected that have done these things were left because they were from the north or because of, of a particular faith okay and guess what this matter was being tried the the, the six Igbo boys their family members got best of lawyers to try to you know get to the bottom of it what have they done what can be done can they be tried fairly and guess what they said no that it was an army matter they have to be tried in an army way not knowing that barati has personal interest in the matter the very day the, a day to when he will leave office he knows that they're announcing the new service chief they've discussed with them buari has told them that you have to go and um, people are calling out for your resignation and all that so the day before he left he gave execution order that the six Igbo soldiers should be executed that's been said uh, uh british because nigerian you know nigerians uh lawyers they have the decision it's not all matter they attend to because um we know we know we know we we a british lawyer has taken up the case to investigate guess what they were attempting assassination he narrowly escaped that's the vehicle let's get on and get all the details unbelievable crime british lawyer escapes assassination for exposing secret trial execution of six Igbo soldiers a nigerian born british international human rights lawyer barrister richard ebuka okara for has escaped an assassination attempt on his life the incident happened on thursday february the 25th 2021 along sedeja Bade road in niger state why on his way back to abuja okafo whose parents are from abia state broke the news to his human rights partners the international society for civil liberty liberation and rule of law inter social and government of the united states on thursday evening recounting details of what happened inter society said in a statement issued on friday in onicha eastern nigeria and signed by his, his principal officer emeka and Esquire, Chioma, and others. The attempted at assassination has taken place along Sudeja Bade Road while he was returning to Abuja after visiting the Alpha Beta manored by soldiers and belongings of the Joint Security Tax Force or JTF in Niger State. His visit to the temporary army base followed new discovery of another badge of 109 Obabo army adoptees including citizens of Ewo Ngozi who his family recently located to be the be in the base through an army officer contacted by the family barrister Kafo had before leaving the base noted that his private car had been marked with a black paint on the rim after he parked the car and entered the base. Loyal Kafo entered his car and drove for about 20 minutes from the base, returning to Abuja when his car was crossed and blocked by unarmed white healers and some armed men opened fire instantly at close range. His car was rained with bullets, including aiming at, spot, aiming at the spots of the car and the owner's side. The lawyer reversed and managed and continued on high speed to drive into a marketplace, forcing the assassins to speed off for escape. The lawyer was driving in a black Mercedes car, GLK M133 model. The matter was later reported to the Nigerian police force 
Lija Area Command in Niger State. The British government also responded swiftly and offered to evacuate the lawyer who is a British citizen back to the UK subject to his approval immediately. Interstate linked Barrister Okafor ordeal to his exposing the secret trial and execution of six Igbo Christian soldiers who were secretly executed on the 24th January 2021, adding that Barrister Okafor also joint, jointly joined others with the location not less than 370 out of 400 defendless Obobo residents adopted between October and November 2020 by the Nigerian army. The adoptees following a war guard invasion and attack by the Nigerian army on the Obobo Enviro during which 102 defendless civilians were killed and 120 others shot and injured. Out of the over 400 adoptees, 208 have been fired by have been freed by court and names of 162 others including 52 girls and young women in located the judiciary released of the 208 adoptees was achieved through the dogged effort of the lawyer and other lawyer working with them interstate so this is the matter going on and then um, what our your brother i will not call him our brother who president Ma successfully did okay where he sent Nigerian army on his people, defendless people. This is what is currently going on. You know, even among the 52 girls or 53 girls still left there, we learned that some of them, you know, have been killed, they've been raped, and inhuman things have been done to them. And this is not acceptable in any way, form, or kind. And this is ongoing in Nigeria. So this British lawyer has gone on to expose this matter going on. And guess what? He's, he has now become a soft target. He has now become a target. Thank God the British Embassy has said he will be, I mean, they, 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 they've evacuated him. You see, that's some of the, uh, you know, when people have dual citizenship, that's some of the things that comes with it. Because Nigeria is not apparently safe. No. So these people, you know, the, the countries that are responsible, look out for one, one person, not Nigerian government, though. So my people, what do you think? For exposing this one, they want to put his life in danger. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. Thank you. God bless you. Bye for now.